Good morning guys, welcome back. Beautiful morning out here in the red pine forest and as you can hear the birds are chirping and the bugs are still biting but it's a beautiful morning out here nonetheless. What I'm doing today is I'm going ahead and working on my newest project which is that roof line you see behind you along with the posts and the beam. I'm going to try to get that well underway here today by extending the rest of the rafters out to the end of this beam, hopefully extending this old shed just a little bit further this way so that it can accept those rafters and then we'll see where we end up at the end of the day. Why am I doing all this? Well, what I'm doing is I'm creating a shelter for my newest sawmill. That's my Woodland Mills uh, HM130 Max Woodlander, the one that's on the trailer. If you've been around the channel, you would have seen me cutting with that most recently. That's gonna back right in here. I'm gonna have a roof overhead just to protect it from the elements. The elements right now aren't really that bad, a little bit of rain, some sun, but in the winter time, as you guys can imagine, it pretty much coats everything with a big dumping of snow, ice and sleet and makes it hard to operate. So I'm gonna get a roof overhead and that way this will be where it lives when it's not out moving around. Once I get this in place, the roof that is and the sawmill in place, I'm gonna go ahead and build a log deck, which will be <clears throat> right in this area. Logs will come in in between these posts and eventually these trees will be gone as well. That way the log deck can be there. So that's the more or less long-term goal. But first things first, as I said, I need to work on getting the rest of the rafters up. I need to extend this beam on the old lumber shed. And first and for foremost, I'm gonna go up and measure how long that beam extension needs to be. And then we'll come down here, figure out a piece of wood, figure out how we can make that happen and get underway. Big plans, big day, glad you guys are here.
can't say I like wearing this stuff, the DEET. But uh, the alternative is one of those bug nets or bug hats, as you guys have said. The trouble with those is it really impedes my vision. And I also find it doesn't breathe very well, so I get really, really hot. I can't see well. It doesn't really, uh, doesn't really allow me to build things that, that great. So I don't tend to wear them unless it's really bad. And if it's really bad, I just stay in the house. All right, guys, well, we made some more progress here today, and I think that's gonna be all the progress I make for today. It's pretty hot out here, at least for a Canadian. It's right around 30 degrees Celsius, and the humidity's pretty high. I'm wearing flannel to keep the bugs off me, and well, flannel isn't exactly the coolest shirt you can wear. And so if you can imagine, I'm sweating pretty good out here. We made some progress though. What we did was we extended the roof on the lumber shed, and we extended it by adding this six foot beam, give or take, two new posts to support it. And up top here, that, Existing beam is 20 feet long. So now the length of that beam matches the total length of this beam. So now we have a 20 foot long by 10 foot wide roof. And if you're wondering, this roof has a pitch of about a 412. So it goes over 12 inches, up four inches. And that matches what my lumber shed is. So we got a bit more done. We got a bit more to do. That's gonna be for next time though. I think what we'll get up to next time, unless I think of something else from now until then, is I'm gonna put some wood on top of the rafters so they'll run parallel, perpendicular, excuse me, to the rafters, and that'll give me a spot to secure the roofing steel to. And I think what we'll do to cut that material that I like to call strapping, I think some of you guys call it purlins as well. Uh, what we'll do is we'll use the sawmill that I just brought out here. So there's my brand new HM130 Max. We'll fire that thing up next time. We'll cut that strapping or purlins and we'll put it on top of the rafters. And then we'll put that roofing steel <coughs> excuse me, put that roofing steel up on top of the rafters. And if you're curious, has roofing steel got any more expensive? Oh yeah, yeah, real bad. I almost had to take out a second mortgage to pay for that stuff. And I only have a few sheets. We'll talk about that another day though. So glad you guys came along. If you guys can get out and enjoy yourself by doing some sawing or 
I don't know, maybe building something like this, do it. It's a great life. You might enjoy it. Guys, take care. Be well. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next time.